Kiora! Welcome to an accessory showcase. Kiora is hello in Māori, the native language of New Zealand. I don't know why I'm speaking the native language of New Zealand today, but there you go. Kiora, all of you. Today I'm doing an accessory showcase of the Chain Blade, and this accessory re request comes from Tavian Banks. Do a showcase of the Chain Blade. Don't know the exact name, but it has a vipery color. And I replied, ah, the Chain Blade, not the Tulsen Soldner. I'll add it to my list. Sticky out tongue face. Yep, so here it is. Um, it is actually called the Chain Blade. The Chain Blade is two words. I always call it as one word. This is the vipery color? That's the one that he talked about, I think. But yeah, I've got it here. And Maniac, Trace, and Atticus hidden behind the fireplace. Uh, Electra is trying to <laughs> get him out of there. Don't burn yourself. But yeah, we're gonna go down to the dojo now and let's see all of its attacks. This isn't actually one of my favorite accessories, but I do appreciate it being quite good. And I do use it occasionally, but there's a lot of accessories I prefer more than this. But let's kick right into it. The weak combo attack, Viper Edge. So as you can see there, there's like kind of a few like slashes and that last one is holdable, I think, yeah. It does have kind of a bit of range. Every There's some attacks where the blade extends into a whip, which is why it's called the chain blade. It, it becomes like chain whip kind of things. And the strong combo attack I think is a little bit more range. As you can see with that, fuck that, look at that first hit. That first hit, look at that. If it's, if it's not within range, it doesn't go very far. But if it's close, like, it seems to be like, am I holding it down or something? Yeah, that's it. So if I hold down the first attack, it has more range. But if I just press it once, it's like that. Yeah, so that's the first hit. So I go slash, stab, and he falls down. I guess that would be good to combo onto something because he sort of falls down and you could very quickly like hit him while he's on the ground or something. Ooh, there's a slight different variation there. So I think if the... If the second attack is held down, you grapple him and then flick him up like that. There's too much variety with this combo, so you can hold the first attack to change it, you can hold the second attack to change it, and I think it's only those two attacks. Maniac, stop hitting in the background. I think you might be trying to trying to show me something. That first hit is a ground pursuit. Oh, okay. So that, if, Mani if um, Atticus is on the ground, that can hit him, yeah, so that is a good combo there. If I just hit him normally, and then quickly follow it up with that, I can hit him while he's on the ground. That's quite diverse, just for the strong combo, that's really diverse. Um, I'm gonna swap now to do the dash attack. It's only a strong dash attack, weak dash attack is just default. So the strong dash attack is like this. So it seems to be the second attack of the strong combo. You sort of like grapple the enemy, it's ranged, you pull them towards you, and then you slash them. And the weak jump attack, Spine. What? There's no weak jump attack. It's called Spine, but I'm just doing like a default, like, weak jump attack, Spine. Doesn't look like there is a weak jump attack. I don't know if Trace is doing it there, but the weak, the strong jump attack is that. All these attacks have like such like a, a grapply like pull. So if you hold it down, if you do the jump strong attack hold, you grapple them up into the air. But if you just press it once, it's just a slash. I'm actually liking this accessory a lot more than I thought I did already. I might have to use it a bit more often because when you hold down attacks, it actually changes and I never knew that. I've never like tried mixing it up a little bit. Um, weak hold attack, Viper Swing. I think this is just like a big slash like that. And I think actually something I forgot to mention, all of these grapply attacks, you can see my MPs going down. So to do, if you do the normal attacks, it's fine. But every time you do a hold attack where the blade has to become the chain, your MP goes down. So my MP is gradually going down there from every single chain attack that I use. And in order to counter that, you use the strong hold, which is this attack, stockpile. So your MP goes up like crazy, like that. All That was like almost a quarter of my MP went up in one swoop. And if your MP is full, you can keep doing it to make it go up just a little bit more. You can see there, it's very tiny, but my MP has actually gone above its limit there. So the weak hold has a bit really good. Like, it, not, it can hit multiple people all around you as well. I don't even have to be facing the enemy for it to hit behind me. But if you hit front ways, it seems to have a little bit of knockback. 
So if it, if it hits behind the enemy, it just hits them normally, but if it hits them sideways or frontways, you get a bit of knockback there. I'm gonna try it on Trace, here we go. Wait, hang on, hang on, Maniac. No, there we go. Yeah, so if you hit the enemy from behind, it doesn't give them knockback, but it does still hit them. So weak hold is very good. Um, now it's on to the special attacks, which I'm gonna do on Trace, and the standing special Viper Slash. So this, this costs MP as well, obviously. It's a grapple attack. Most of the attacks are grapple, so the blade extends, pulls the enemy towards you, and just does an uppercut like that. Uh, dash, special, Tornado Fang. That is, I find this one really difficult to hit. You jump above the enemy and behind and slash them from behind. So, you kind of have to be tricky. You have to know exactly what you're doing. You have to know that you're going to miss the enemy and actually hit them on the way back. So, like, if I was standing right next to Trace and I did it, it kind of works, but, like, it doesn't hit them from a distance. Oh, I'm kind of confused. The run. Okay, so th there's different variations. If your MP has run out, there's different variations of attacks as well, I, I think. Well, Maniac just did it then. I don't know. Oh, it's an Inherit, it seems. That's the Inherited skill, the run special. Like, the one that... Trace did. Tell me in the chat, how are you guys doing? Hold it down. Oh, okay, so the run special. If it's held, it only hits them like that. There's so many variants that it, it doesn't tell you any of this in the in the accessory like attacks list. That, like you can hold it down and it makes it different and stuff like that. And there's so many varieties as well. Uh, but anyway, special, jump special, is another grapple and a knockback backwards. So unlike the standing special where you knock them upwards forwards, the jump special turns them around and flips them behind you. So if you want to be tactical and get an edge with your special as well, you got to know that you're going to hit behind them with that attack. Super special attack, standing super special, grapple, more hits, bigger knockback, flying to the other side of the map. Run special, a, like a, a double or a triple flip with multiple hits. There, that, that one, boom. But for some reason, I sort of like, I didn't jump when I did it one time. Maybe I accidentally did the standing special. Super jump special is the last attack. You grapple them, you hit them a few more times, and big knockback. So it's, it's again, it's kind of like the standing special. But instead of front ways, you turn them round and hit them backwards. <sighs> fuck Laurie's review. Don't fuck Laurie's review. It's very nice, and I used to not do it in my accessory showcases, and I think it's a good segment, so shut up, okay? Shut up me. Shut up myself. I told myself to shut up. I really like this accessory. My opinion of it, you heard me at the beginning of the accessory showcase saying I don't use it very much. I'm gonna use it a lot more now, now that I know that there's so many varieties. If you hold down an attack slightly, it has more edging capabilities, it like hits them straight away, it doesn't grapple them and stuff like that. Just so many different varieties and it's really good. And you can see on this accessory, I've got power boost, gives me more attack, sniper, my aim attacks are stronger, I don't really need that. And echo booster? Increase an in MP, that's an inherit. I think that might be from the um skull. Uh, crafted accessory, you know, the flying golden heads from the new Bathabon mission. Yeah, I like this accessory, it's, it's, it's good, it's good. There's a lot of better ones out there, but I don't know, if this was your only gold, it's great, it's amazing. But personally, a sword is a sword. I have to give it by, by less points there. Thanks for watching this accessory showcase. On the left, you can see a playlist of all of my other accessory showcases. There's over 80 now. On the right, you can see my most recent accessory showcase. Check them out, please. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Kakitiano. That's uh, Māori for uh, see you next time, I think. I don't know.